are at the Game Fair 2019 is one of the highlights uh, of the days out for me. As an ex-gamekeeper when I was a, a young kid, 16 years old, uh, the hunting, shooting, fishing is still a big part of my life. Uh, coming for a look around over the weekend, great, great one of those uh, <coughs> British weekends for me. Uh, we've got the bike here at EJ Churchill uh, 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 as well and it's just great to see some of the, 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 the guns and everybody here. I think some of the guys that we see are all into the, the shooting, fishing and also going into that motorsport with the cars, the bikes and there's that theme goes through there. And for me it's fabulous to catch up with some friends, um, talk about bikes and the cars, the guns, the fishing and all the fun times that we have. But one of the key things here is, is all of that shared passion and enthusiasm for the country outdoor pursuits and that leads you to kind of be out there doing things and got that independence about you um, whether that's out shooting or fishing or out on a motorbike out racing the car and there seems to be a bit of a kindred spirit about everybody that participates like that and it's great to see the meetings of minds have a beer and talk stories just talk about all of the adventures that we get up to so the bike we have here is the Norton V4 SS it's a V4 1200cc, so obviously a, a V engine, 200, 215 horsepower, 206 miles an hour, um, traction control, wheelie control, launch control, all of those electronic rider aids is so fast. If you haven't got those rider aids, it's wheel spinning or wheeling, and it just needs those rider aids to calm it down a little bit. We also have a, a rear mounting camera in there, so that feeds into the dash, so you don't have to have any mirrors. You can look into the dash and see who's behind you. It's pretty cool, some of the engineering in there is world-class and cutting edge with the way that we've combined the electronics into the mechanical engineering and the performance of the bike. These were 200 piece limited edition, all sold out, and now we're just delivering in over the next six months. So, as I say, fabulous piece of engineering. Uh, and really sought after within that motorcycling world. Been developed over the last several years, racing the Isle of Man TT. It's the fastest British bike that's ever done the TT. So we're super proud that we've developed that wholly in the UK and it's here on the Churchill stand. Uh, we managed to twist Rob's arm and get it centre stand right front and central. It's probably going to charge me all year long for bits and babs and cost me a day shooting. But it's uh, brilliant to see that here. <clears throat> and all of the engineering goes into that is really really similar to the way that we'd go about making the guns and all of that craftsmanship back from the golden eras of British gun making all sits there with all of the machining and the hand-built nature of the motorcycle with the engine and the chassis going back to the action of the guns so there's some strong similarities in that British engineering and the handmade nature of the gun and the bike so it's pretty cool that we've got it here alongside the guns and all of the people that would see that and an affinity to that manufacturing and that engineering and the craftsmanship that we see between the products. I couldn't encourage anybody more to take up shooting, whether it's clays, whether it's some driven days, pigeon shooting, rough shooting. The camaraderie and the friends that you can make within shooting and the social circles, it's absolutely fantastic. I've done it for a lifetime, I've had the most fun, met the most interesting characters and been to some of the best places in the world on the back of shooting and shooting friends. And if you're thinking about getting involved in shooting, go to Churchill's, go and have a chat with them, talk about getting into it, shoot a few clays, have a go, see how you get on with it. Honestly, it's some of the best fun that you can have and some really, really great guys getting involved with that and some cool locations all over the world. Really, really encourage you to go and have a go.